a tough assignment this time. I am at the Gourmet Food and Wine Expo. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, let's go check it out. All right, so my first stop here tonight is with Jeremy, a culinary mixologist, and he's gonna show me what the trends are right now in cocktails. All right, Jeremy, D. what do you got for me? I'm excited and awesome. I'm very thirsty. Well, have a little seat. So I'm gonna be starting you off with an amazing Bing Cherry Sour with Woodford Reserve. So a cool little thing is we're gonna be smoking it to really bring out those amazing bourbon flavors. Well, smoking is great. I mean, everybody's into double smoked bacon, all kinds of different culinary smoking. Yeah, I've never had a smoked cocktail. Well, this is a little device that I created and it's a cocktail smoker. Okay, This okay. is great for Caesars, all kinds of different cocktails. Okay. And there you go. Oh, you can totally smell the smoke and the cherry. Oh, that's good. That smokiness comes through. Yeah. Like, that is a really, really good drink. Chris, you would love this. This is an awesome breakfast cocktail. Ooh, churro. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't, but I'm going to. OK, that's this perfect. was worth it. This was so worth it. <laughs> I have never had octopus. The things you guys make me do for television. This is fantastic. I'm gonna make a cannoli. So My very go. first cannoli. Bella, it will be the best. The I'm best sure cannoli that, ever. You know? One, two, okay. Oh, yay, it's snowy. I made my first cannoli. All right, Jeremy. My favorite I am customer. Back. I'm here for trend number two. Hot in 2015, we're looking at Hascap, the super fruit. It sort of tastes like a bit like a raspberry and a blueberry put together. It tastes amazing and also I've made blood orange Italian soda homemade ice cubes. So let's shake this up. So what you're going to notice is that the ice cubes actually start to dissolve, but they also carbonate the drink. Look how pretty that is. And I can see the carbonation. So this is what's hot in 2015, besides me, of course. Oh, that's fantastic. Great Everything cocktail. wraps around the tequila and it's like an afterthought. If you don't like tequila, drink it this way. You find the juice at most major health food stores and it's becoming more and more readily available. I love drinking healthy. It's like juicing for adults. The best kind of juicing. <laughs> Wine's from Argentina. I love Argentina. And I have an empty glass. Cheers. That is so good. I'll see you later. <laughs> empty glass. Empty glass. Anyone want to fill it? Ooh, sangria. You guys go ahead, do what you need to do. I'm going to stay here and have some more sangria. Jeremy! I love you, man. I love you, too. We're going to make a drink together. We're going to be making a cotton candy margarita. And this is trend number three in what makes it a trend. Because we're going to be using culinary ingredients that most people think about just eating versus drinking. So we're going to start off with some amazing cotton candy in the glass. Oh. In the glass. OK, OK. I can't help Honestly. it. Honestly. So let's add in our tequila. Then our yummy margarita mix. And then let's shake it up. Let's shake it up. Mm. Here's where the magic happens. This is it, baby. You ready? Woo! Come to mama. So what are we putting in? The royal trio of citrus fruits. So we've got orange, lemon, and lime awesome. in here. And my favorite part, the drink. Shall we? Shall we? To the queen of cocktails. To the king of cocktails. I appreciate it. I yeah, love that nice. you can still taste the cotton candy. It's softer on the palate, but not sweet. Absolutely. It's super easy. As soon as your kids are done eating their cotton candy, toss in your cocktail. We don't want to waste. No, never no waste. waste. Never Repurpose. waste. Repurpose. Stephen and Chris, cheers. Cheers.